Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of Envy. If you haven't seen the last part, go check that one out because our parents are going through a lot and then we are talking to our little neighbor, James, who was a little weird when we asked him what he did. He just kind of walked away and pretty much very nicely told us to keep to ourselves. So I'm very suspicious of him, but we're just going to have to see what happens with our friends, all this stuff, who even knows, but we're just going to get into that. I really, really hope you enjoy it. Smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and let's start the juicy drama. After somebody had broken into my locker yesterday, I was super anxious about what the next day would bring. Don't wave at us, Gabby. I don't trust you whatsoever. I needed to speak with the squad. I really want to scope out the squad is what I really want to do, just in case, you know. Morning, guys. How are you doing, boo? How are you, Jazz? I think my parents are finally splitting up. My mom hired a PA, who definitely confirmed that my dad's having something, and he didn't come home last night. Oh! That blows. I'm so sorry. Are you Miss Gabby? <laughs> I don't trust you. I mean, okay, so I guess I knew it was coming. Or my dad has really messed up this time. I, she like, I she knew it was coming. I've always known they were going to split up. But I guess I'm not the first person whose parents are splitting up, right? Anyway, I don't want to constantly monopolize the conversations with my problems. Save by the bell. Okay, so in class I found my thoughts wandering about to my new neighbor. The only things I knew about him were his name and that he was 21. I can't believe she has herself an older man. Look at her. Why did he have to act so mysterious anyway? I didn't even know what I was thinking about him. Oh, uh, he was so annoying. Mysterious and good looking, but annoying. I mean, she made some points right there. Ooh, she got a crush. Okay, hold on class, before you go here are your marked calculus test papers. Ooh, I don't need to see those. Good job to those of you who got A+. Plus. Steven, DJ, and Sandra, we got an A+. Plus. Look at her, she is smart. She's killing this class. Where's May? Um, gee, I'm so relieved. I studied like crazy for this. Oh no. You know what? I wonder if it's because we didn't help her out with her paper. In the last chapter, we had like a choice of like helping May or like going with Jazz or I guess someone got or something, but we picked Jazz. So I wonder if this caused her to flop. May looks upset. Everything is falling apart. Oh, she's, oh no. I think May really needs some me right now. I should see if, you know, we're just gonna give her some space. I think she needs some time to herself. I'll speak with her later when she's calmed down. Okay, she's... I didn't get a chance to speak with May later, though. She didn't turn up for cheerleading practice. You're so funny, Dylan. Okay, can these two little lovebirds get off the field? Like, what's going on? Dylan? Isn't he cute? He is. But what about Carter? What about him? She's crazy about Carter. Mm, just you're crazy about him? Uh, he's so boring. What? I'm so over him. What? Even Jazz is like, girl, what are you talking about? Okay, well, Dylan is much cuter, Gabby. Let's just let her have her moment. You think so? Mm, not really, but we're gonna tell you so much, so you just stop being crazy to us. Has anyone seen May? No, she's not here. She's probably in the Antarctica. It's weird, she never misses practice. She never misses anything. Okay, that is weird. Like, I know she was upset, but especially after... Are we ever gonna go... I guess not. I didn't know what was wrong with me. What do you mean? What is wrong with her? What? I couldn't concentrate on my favorite show. Like, I'm confused at what's wrong with her. Oh, maybe it's the parents' divorce? Or I couldn't concentrate on my homework. I tried calling May. Oh, but to no avail. But she didn't pick up. Oh, and my dad. My dad hadn't even tried to call or text me. Our, the freaking dad in this story, her dad is a piece of garbage. Who cares about him? He had abandoned my mom, but he had also abandoned me. It hurts. You know what? How could he do something like this? I need to stop thinking about him. Stop thinking about him. Honestly, we need to let him go. He is garbage. He does not care about us. He does not care about our mom, the family, his own child. He is scum. I forced myself to stop thinking about him. We cannot give him any more power. So we need to just 
throw him in the garbage bin, close it, take it out, not even recycle it, just go, like, bye bye I realized with the shock that I was looking forward to nightfall, because she was going to go talk to James on the roof. As soon as it was dark, I got ready to go up to the roof again. I was looking forward to another late night conversation with my mysterious new neighbor. Maybe it was because he was a welcome distraction for my problems. <gasps> But is she going to talk to him? Maybe I just wanted to see his stupid, ridiculously good-looking face. Looking out of his window at me again. Please come and talk to us and do not be rude this time, James, because it, I felt very disrespected last time. Oh my gosh, he didn't do it. I sat there for an hour. He's not coming. Are you freaking kidding me? But he never showed. Ugh. He's so... Mm, who cares anyway? Girl, don't give him any time of day anymore. Stupid guy. Just like, yes, yeah, stupid guy. Screw him. Stupid me. No, 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 no. Poor thing. Like, no. Like, I feel so bad. She's going through so much. She should not be hard on herself. She should not be down. She needs some alone time, I think, to just really get to know herself a little bit. I just wanted him to know that I had been thinking about him and hoping to see him and speak with him again because she got a crush. Maybe I can leave something behind like my hoodie. He did notice it last time. That'll let him know that I was up here waiting for him. Honestly, I'll just go to bed. We don't need to leave our hoodie for him. Why should we be leaving anything for him? You know what? He's probably being all annoying in that little room or something. Maybe he's not there. I don't really know, but one way or another he doesn't deserve it. After he treated us last time. It's, yeah, like last time. No, 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 no. Dad didn't come home again that night. Well, I mean, I wondered if he had already moved out for good. Oh, like, she's just going through such a rough patch. Have a good day, honey. Thanks, mom, you too. And our poor mom. I hope her mom, like, is not still drinking. What is happening? Good morning. Oh, look who showed up. It's our boy James. What is James one? Can I give you a ride to school? Oh. And now James shows up. After he vanished the night before... He shows up and he wants to give us the ride to school, which honestly, like, not even gonna lie, like, that's kind of creepy, like, <laughs> okay, hear me out, though. When I mean creepy, it's, like, this 21-year-old neighbor giving us, like, a little drive to school when we don't even know him, but, I mean, oh, well, in the scheme of the story, let's do it, like, our little girl gotta do it. She gotta find out, I wanna find out his secret. He has secrets. With the way he acted, I wanna get to the bottom of that, and I hope May is okay, I, like, Kind of regret not going after her, but I didn't know she was going to be in a dramatic situation where she didn't turn up for, like, days at a time. Well, it's not been days. I'm being overly dramatic. Just the rest of the day. But people were clearly worried about her, especially since she never missed cheer practice before. So something is going on with that poor girl. I, I hope she's okay. I, like, low-key regret that. But you know what? The decision is done. Mistakes were made. I can't do anything about it. But the story is starting to get a little interesting. May's gone. Where James wants to mysteriously take us to school now and just think y'all there's gonna be so much drama happening soon enough Okay, so this is the end of the video. So like you guys will have to continue watching if you don't want to. I just have one little thing I want to say at the end of this video to the people who have been watching me for like a long time now and following some of the stories which they may have seen taken off the channel. I have touched upon this in the community tab and I've answered it a few times in the comments, but this is like one of the last times I'm going to comment on it. I don't want to make a whole separate video for it. So I'm just going to add a little blurb into here real quick. Um, all those videos that I had of like Chain Reaction and all those stories before, yes, they are unfortunately removed you guys they the author does not want them up on youtube any longer and i had such a wonderful time working with her it was absolutely amazing i'm so thankful i got to read those stories with you all through all that time but unfortunately at the moment they are not going to be on youtube in any way shape or form they are still on the episode app so if you really want to go read them they are still on there so go show the love and support on there i am so sorry for anyone who wanted to watch the videos or so on but i really really hope you had a really wonderful time watching them and i hope the memory we will keep the memory alive but yes just to like kind of recap real quick like no i will not be finishing them and for the foreseeable future they will not be back on my channel maybe one day hopefully anyway i really really hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you next time bye everyone Delicious, yeah, the